for a while now and I think we'll find happiness together <laughs> hey, well, you have spoken very well and uh, your intentions are honorable it shows you are thinking in the right direction hmm? after all uh, my mate goes for son who is your age mate has long been married and even bought children oh, mama that's a totally different issue that's because he got the girl pregnant and then they had to have a horrid marriage. That's not our case. Oh yeah, but you know, marriage is marriage. Marriage is marriage. You know, I'm grandchildren, grandchildren. Eh? Eh, nevertheless, um, mom, you are welcome. Thank you, Mama. Eh? Oh, Malicha, I'm happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you too, Mama. Oh. Eh, mom, please don't be offended. You know, my age. It's okay, no problem, Ma. Uh, what do you do? I just finished my program at the Polytechnic, so I'm now working as a secretary in Lagos. You shows you're a very hard-working girl. Uh, eh? Ah, Mama, understatement. She's very, 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 very hard-working. <laughs> she <laughs> opens and closes the office. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter, please don't be angry with me again. Please. You know I have not seen you before, so I need to know you very well. Um, what is your name, Mwam? My name is Rebecca Najofo Izukama from Udinta. Najofo Izukama from Udinta here? Yes. Yo, um, huh. I know your parents very well. Yes. Najofo Izukama has three children. Two daughters and a son. Hey, mom, which of them is your father? The only son. Boniface Najofo is the Boniface? Yes, Mama. Boniface Najofo? The school teacher that rides a blue bicycle. <laughs> Mama, you know him. Ah. Hmm. And uh, your mother is Louisa, right? <laughs> you really know us, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's alright, my daughter. Oh, oh. Oh, what every woman prays for is to be alive and see her children grow. Ah, uh, yes. Marry and have children. Yes. But if at this my old age, I see something that is not going in the right direction, I refuse to say it. That means that these grey hairs on my head are in vain. Ah, Mama, what brings this in? Whatever it is, share it with me. I'm your only son. Hey, Mama, 
tell me. Let me know what bothers you. Inebuchi, is she truthful? Hmm? <laughs> Can you vouch for her? It may interest you to know that your Rebecca has been married before. No, Mama. Before she ran away from her husband's place. I remember eight years ago mm -hmm. when the whole Udinta was on the matter. Because her former husband refused to take back the dowry she was returning back to him. Onebuchi, mm. the matter would have resulted into a very big problem if not that the Igwe intervened. Onebuchi, mm. mm. a mother uses one finger to advise her children. But when the water comes first, she opens her two hands. I would have told you it's bad parenting. I saw and said it's good parenting. <laughs> mm. The choice is yours, my son. A word is enough for the wise. Rebecca. Mother said, Is it true? I'm sorry. It's true. Mama is right. I was married eight years ago. Eh? So, why didn't you let me know? Do you think I'm like a pawn you can use? Buchi, I'm sorry. No. No. You know, I was scared. I was scared that if I told you, I would lose you. And anytime I summon up the courage to talk to you about it, my nerves will suddenly fail me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I suffered. I was just 17 years old. I was naive, I was young. He took advantage of me. Yes, I was married for three months. But the animal brutalized me. He abused me. He maltreated me. I enjoyed I endured. I tried. But when I reached the limit of my endurance, I had to leave. If I didn't leave, I would die. No, 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 no. My love, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stand up. That's okay. That's okay. Don't so, worry. You didn't die then. You don't have died. Eh? You won't die now. Okay? I'm sorry. I'll stand beside you. I'm sorry for no. not telling. No, it's okay. It's okay. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You cry, okay? Just <laughs> Hey, 
Mama. I've come so that uh, we can finalize the marriage plans with Rebecca. Onyebuchi. Mama. I have told you severally that I am not in support of that marriage. Onyebuchi, for goodness sake. We have so many beautiful girls in this village. Pick one of them. Bring them to me as your wife. Onyebuchi, I will support you. I want you to get married now. Rebecca is my life. Rebecca is my confidant. She's my friend. Rebecca is a kind-hearted woman, Mama. Eh? Besides, she's not like her mom. That cantankerous nature you are talking about. Rebecca is kind-hearted, though. Then why was she driven out of her husband's house? Eh, Onyebuchi, just after a few months of marriage, why was she? Mama. That man wanted to kill her. The man was a beast. A man who could not take care of a kind-hearted woman like Rebecca, as pretty as she is. How could she have continued to remain in that marriage? He would have killed her. Onyebuchi, that was what she told you. Have you made any efforts to find out from the man she married before what the problem was? Have you? No, I, I can't go there. Onyebuchi, Anything that will involve you getting married to that girl we called Rebecca can't be out. I am not in support and I will not be in support of it. You know, here. Mama. Mama, Mama, are you walking out? Hi. My mother. God has done it again for the family. Ew. Oh, you are now a proud grandmother of a son. Hey, mom, to go be the glory. Oh. Amen. Uh. I, I hope the little boy is doing very well. Oh, very well. Very, very well. Mm. In fact, my wife says I should greet you and extends her best wishes to you. Mm. And she's expecting you soon. Eh, Mama? They will be discharged tomorrow. But anyway, her mother is here already. Point of correction, Nyebuchi. That girl is not your wife, as long as I'm concerned. I am very happy about my grandson that came. I am very happy. But Nyebuchi, I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Oh, Mama. Mama, what have I done to you? But, Mama, I don't know why you are treating me like this, like an outcast. Mama, remember I'm your only son. Eh? And I, I begged you, please forget the past eh? and just accept her like you accepted your daughter, Daulisa. Hey, eh, Mama, please. Eh? Oh, Nibuchi, I don't have anything against this girl. As a matter of fact, I don't even hate her. Eh? I am only consigned as a good mother would be about my son. Concerned about you, Nibuchi. All I've been telling you about this girl, you don't want to listen to me. Mama, she's not like the way you think. Yeah. I think you should let bygone be bygone. Huh? Poof, where? Besides, she might not be like her mother. Or have you not seen where a son of a native doctor becomes a priest? Hey. You sound as if I have something against this girl. Eh? I don't have any single thing against her. Because there's something in me that tells me that that girl is not a good girl. Eh? If she is a good girl, why was she driven out of her husband's house? Just after a few months of marriage, I insist you go and visit them. Go on, Hoha. Especially now that she has given birth to a baby boy. Or do you have anything against an innocent baby? Hey, God forbid. 
have something against my own flesh and blood. I thought that boy is my first grandchild. Mm. I don't have anything against him. No, I will never have anything against him. Eh? Then you go and see him. Carry him in your arms. Kunumwage. Who knows? You might get to like his mother with time. But that is unfair, Grandma. Why would Tati take all the food meant for the entire animal in the animal kingdom? That is greed. And you told me that greed is bad. And you support of what Tati did, Grandma? No. Oh, Alex, my grandson, I did not support what Tati did. And besides, I have not even come to the end of the story. Give me your hand. You must learn to exercise patience in all you do in life. Okay, so that you can always get to the end of the matter. You know what? Okay, Mama. So tell me, how did it end? Alex! Alexander! How many times have I warned you to stop every association with this old, haggard, ugly looking woman? Huh? But, Mommy, Grandma was just telling me a story. She's telling you stories. Mommy loves you, you know? Okay. I'll tell you better and more educative stories. All she tells you are cock and bull stories. Excuse me, witch. Bring my food now. Are you sure? Yes, I'll eat. Come join me. No, my own food is coming now. It's yeah. coming. Mm -hmm. So bring my food now. No, I don't want to fall off. Grandma, please let me slice this meat. It's too big. <laughs> Unless my grandson, I've watched you struggle with it. Let me cut for you, okay? Let me cut it for you. It's okay. <coughs> Darling, it's your mate, right? Next time you want to cut your meat, you call on your darling mommy, okay? Here. Let me cut my daughter. I don't like your attitude towards me. Anytime you see me with my grandson, you want to separate us on my kagine. Now you won't even allow me to cut his meat. This your attitude worries me. Ogadima. Oh. Oh, Ogadima, don't worry, oh. Actually, he's my son. I carried him in my womb for nine months. I should be the one to worry about his food, and to care for him. So I should be the one to care and feed him. All right? At least I'm alive, kicking. Hell and hurty to take care of my son. So you shouldn't take up my position in his life. Or do you want me dead and out of the picture? Hey, to fear one. God forbid. Rebecca, how can I want you dead? Eh? I perfectly understood what you are saying. It's okay. But all I'm asking is that you should allow my grandson <laughs> with his grandmother. This is the joy of motherhood. Oh, mom. Is that okay? Okay, I'm thank you. Old witch. Enjoy.
mix with my garlic. Oh. You're up already. Yes, Good morning. So we are set to go to oh, work. Going to work. I'm late already. Yeah. Mm, how are you? Fine. Okay, great. Alright. I'll see you later, eh? Babe. I love you. Love you too. Have, have a nice day. day. <laughs> okay. Take care. Have, have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. We have for breakfast. If you don't want this, then you have nothing to eat. Sweetheart, still painting. No, darling, I'm taking off the makeup. <laughs> You're beautiful enough already. Huh? Mm? Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this. Mm? Now I can see you've not lost that touch. What? The touch, you know? The magic fingers, the way you touch me. Oh. You know what, darling? That's the part I love most of all your good attributes. So, what are those good attributes? Someone wants me to rub his back. Oh, why not? I'm <laughs> done. Okay, 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 let me tell you. My darling husband is understanding, mm -hmm. he's loving, mm -hmm. he's forgiving, mm -hmm. and above all, caring. Oh, <laughs> really? Caring? That's the one I don't think I still have. Oh. With all this hard work, running around for money. I know. You know? Oh. Uh, sweetheart, you yeah, know baby. what? Uh, tomorrow, I want you to remind me to give you some money. You know, so you can shop for my mother. Shop for your mom? Oh, yeah, some clothes, jewelries. Mommy deserves it, you oh, know. Oh, yes. Yes. That's my baby. Oh. Mm. Darling, I want to sleep. Oh, come on. Oh, really? Oh, I suddenly want to sleep. Oh, no! <laughs> You're not coming. Just, just move to the other side. Come on. <laughs> no. Naughty you. Oh, darling. Do you know what? I love you. Look at my clothes. Eh? Look at everywhere dust. I don't know why you're here. Honestly speaking. Eh? I don't know why you're here. Come on, get out of this place and go and bring rag. Sorry, ma. Get out! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Becky, Becky! Becky in a na! Tessie, Tessie! No, dear! What's up, girlfriend? My Where have dear. you been? My dear, I thought I informed you I was traveling. Oh, you said so! <laughs> I went to Italy. I thought I told you I was traveling. Ah, Tessie, for two weeks. Tessie, yeah, I remember. Tessie, intercontinental <laughs> lady. I went to Italy. I bought some expensive jewelry. Clothing, bags, and what have you? I can see that. Girl, so you have enough. Huh? You Make have things enough now. to showcase. I didn't even ask you to sit and you're sitting. Daddy, can you imagine? My husband gave me an assignment today. He gave me a hundred thousand dollars to go and shop for that is witch Jeez. mother. Yes. Can you imagine? 
Don't tell me you spent the whole hundred G's on that wicked woman. Oh, Tessie, give me some credit now. Know you me. know what's up now. No, I know you're not Elena. Yes, so. Thank you, baby. It's been years we've been friends now. And I'm one, no. I know you too well. A girlfriend. <laughs> I wouldn't do so. No, I trust you. On that classes, woman. Mm -hmm. So what happened? You know what I did? I got her what befits her. You know, real quality. What is this? I spent six thousand naira on them. You mean you kept ninety? Four G's for yourself. For me? For my mom? And I. Yes. I've got a yellow CC sweet mom. Uh -huh. You know that knows what's up. That got class. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. fashion sense. Mm -hmm. Mama likes jewelry, girl. Please. Do you want to bring the latest things uh, you have? I, have I need to shop jewelry for my mom. Yes, Auntie. Auntie. Bring me that um, jewelry bag. Okay, ma. I need all the jewelry. Momsy loves all those things, you know. Your nerves, <laughs> that witch in her dream. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Mom, give Hey, 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 Thank you, my daughter. Oh, Baba. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, they're so beautiful. Why not, Mama? Mama, I'll always take care of you. You deserve the best. You're a wonderful mother. And I know you love fashion. And that's why I had to get extra accessories. Because I know this is not enough. You love to shine. Look sexy. You know, Mommy? <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. But how come your husband brought out 100,000 naira? I will give to you for you to shop for Gadema, that old woman without class. She can't carry this class with prestige. Never. She can't. That's none of our business. What is important is that, Ma, Rebecca, your daughter, I wasn't stupid enough <laughs> to spend the money on his mother, that dirty, haggard looking Ogadema, when I have a beautiful yellow CC mommy. Oh. Ah. Mommy. Hey! Oh. Mommy, try them, try them. Mm. They're beautiful. You like this girl? This is good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you, they are so beautiful. I love them. I love them so much. Look at this one. Papa, good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm very well, Papa. Papa, I actually asked after you from Mama. She said you were sleeping. You are right, my daughter. Fine, you're right. I can see the two of you enjoying yourself. Uh, having a feast of some sort, isn't it? Dear Mama, hmm? this is more than a feast. Look at all these beautiful gifts. My daughter brought this gift to me. She doesn't want me to age. Rebecca won. You make me remain young forever. Thank you. That's wonderful of you, Rebecca. Very wonderful of you. Um, how is your husband and uh, my grandchild, um, Alex? Papa, they're both fine. They're doing well. We we'll continue to thank God. Uh, Onyebuchi told me that uh, his uh, mother came to stay with you people for a while. Oh, God, my wife, you know, ma. How is she doing? Papa, she's no more wine, your mouth. Yes, Papa, that woman is wicked. In fact, she's a witch. Shut up! How dare you say such a thing? That woman has a heart of gold. In fact, the husband used to be my best friend. Rebecca, live in peace with her. I don't want to get any complaint. Is that right? Okay, Papa. Dear Mama, my daughter has right to air her views in her house. She has right, right or no right? Ogade deserves your respect, love and care. And I 
want you to have this at the back of your mind that she is in her son's house is that right and that woman is a woman and a mother just like your own mother be careful how you do things You go meet your son before he leaves for work and collect money for food. Because there'll be nothing for you to eat in this house, oh mama. Yes! Oh? Mama, do you want to eat sand? Chop sand. Hey! Talk to me, mama. Mama, why are you crying? Hypocrisy. <laughs> You're crying to God. Go and meet your son, oh God. Was your night? Oh, very well. I hope you slept well. Oh, very well. And you, I hope you did too. Yes, ma'am. Ah, no pains, I hope. No. Okay, great. I'm okay. I'm off to work. Yeah. How can you be going to work without dropping some money for your wife feeding? What? What's the meaning of that? Did she tell you I didn't give her money for food? Rebecca said you did not give her any money for feeding. Biko, Biko. If you have not given her any money, eh? can they drop some money for her mom? Okay, mom. Oh, no, but she come. Rebecca! Yeah, my mom, Rebecca! Tell me, Rebecca. Eh? What, 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 what explanation do you have for that? You told my mother that I didn't give you money for food. That 14000 I gave you this morning, was it not for food? But, um, I, I thought... Uh... Darling, I want to use it to make my hair. Hey, listen. If you want to make your hair, then you have to wait till I get back from work. That money is specifically for food. She waits. But you know we're traveling soon. I have to make my hair. I've told you. It's specifically for food. You wait when I get back from work. I should wait. Buchi, I should wait. Okay, I'll wait. Go and give your mother all the money, okay? Don't say I'll wait. Sweetheart. Oh, it's me. Eh? Oh, it's you, right? And the morning when you were shouting, you didn't know the night will come. Huh? When you were taking sides with your mother, you forgot about me, right? Oh, baby, you don't understand. Eh? That's not the point. Please. I was just explaining. I was just explaining. What were you explaining? You know what? I'm sure you recognize the person you took sides with today, right? Go and meet that person to quench your sexual thirst. I beg. No use your reggae. Spoil my blues. You see me so? Sleep. Sweetheart. Apmaka. Hmm.
I'm ready. After all, this is more nutritious than what you eat in the village. My son, enjoy your meal and make sure you take fruits, okay? Mommy loves you. Rebecca, thank you very much. Enjoy. Um, thank you very food. much. Madam White, everybody loved the last hairstyle you did for me. So I want this one to be far better than that one, okay? okay you know I'm a pay setter now. Sweetheart, you don't have any problem, okay? I'm the one handling your hair. So the rest are short. I'll give it to you just the way you want it. I trust you. Pay setter indeed. Please. Oh, Tessie, what's up now? Are you jealous? But you know I make better hairstyles than you do. You know now I'm a pay setter. Please, my dear, don't even go there. Because the last time I could remember vividly, you copied from mine. So I don't know what makes you the best best center. Oh, copy, copy from you. <laughs> but you know that you and Vera are the biggest copycats. Excuse me. Pass it us indeed. Mm -hmm. All I know is that I make a better hairstyle than both of you. Vera, you're on, eh? Don't even go. Don't even go there, please. Hello, Mama. Good evening, Mama. Yes, Mama. Okay, Mama. Sure. The footstops are here already. As soon as I am through with my client here, I'll be on my way home. Okay, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Okay. Excuse me, Madam White. Who did you just speak with? Oh, that's my mother-in-law. She wants me to come home to prepare food for the kids. Jesus! My God! CBC Wahala! Your mother-in-law wants you to close down your salon so you can come and cook for the children? Hello? Tessie, did you hear that? Wait, 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 wait. Can't she cook for the children? Oh my God! This mother-in-law, you see what I keep saying? That they are witches. Tessie, CBC Wahala! Can't she cook? She's, she's even running your home for you. Are you a slave, Madam White? You form a hand. Rebecca, 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 I don't say anything wrong in this one. And how can you say such a thing? Do you live with these people? Do you know how they live? How can you just assume that this old woman is wicked? Girl, I'm so sorry. Keep quiet there. I don't need to live with them before I know what's up now. I know what is happening. All these mother-in-laws are witches. They are so wicked. She is. I'm also great one. That's what they are. What is the meaning? See, Madam White, I put it to you that you are a slave. A modern day slave, that's what she is. But come to think of it, on a serious note, how can a God forsaken mother in law order me around to tell me when to open my boutique and when to close it? Imagine. I can't take that shit from anybody. Not at all, my dear. Tracy, Becky, I see nothing wrong in this. This woman has kids to fail, and the first house are right here with her. So why are you guys talking like this? Yeah. My dear. It depends on personalities, my dear. As for me, my mother-in-law is a godsend. In fact, I can't live or do anything without that woman in that family. I wish she's my mother. You see? Eh? That's good. How oh, I wish I still have a mother-in-law. Salmon! Keep preaching, preacher. I don't care. I wish I still had a mother-in-law. All I know is that mother-in-laws are witches. Yes, and that my mother-in-law listen and listen real good. I can be that woman and the cargo. I will so show her pepe! 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 I swear down! I don't go have some fun. I don't go have really so fun in the house of my daughter-in-law. Just I go back for food. Try it's okay. Mama on It's okay. This thing is everywhere. Children of now, they lack respect. Yeah? Who 
wipe out your tears. How could you know that she does not fit me? Eh? She feeds me like a dog. Eh? Even dogs are not giving the kind of food my daughter in law gives me in my son's house. What is my own son said? A bless of the whole situation. No one else crying. crying. Oh, Jimo. <laughs> this girl might even change. Who knows? Mm. Choma, my daughter-in-law, she started this way, but now she behaves very well. There's nothing good cannot do. Only hang if you only if you ask. Wipe away your tears. God is a wonder. Must we travel back to the city today? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what? We've just been here for only three days. I know, but we came to spend the weekend. And we have to go back to Lagos. Hmm? Don't forget, your daddy has work. And you have to go to school. Yes, mom, but I can stay school here in the village. You want to school here in the village? Yes. Who's going to take care of you? Oh, your grandmother. Can she even cook? That dirty old haggard woman. Take this into the car, I'll join you. That's the money. So, those trees that I planted, I, I did that a long time ago. Again, the time I come, you can have mango. Oh, yeah, but you know, Mama. Ah, uh -uh. Mama, you shouldn't have bothered. There are certain Mama. things you don't get in the city now. Ah. Hey. Make sure your wife cooks it when it's a little ripe. Okay, mama. Because that is when it's most nutritious. Okay, eh? mama. Oh. Okay, mama. Madam nutritious. <laughs> eh? Don't but allow it to get overripe. Oh, no, it's okay. What's important to me is that you should take very good care of yourself for me. Eh? Will, mama. Is it Nemo? Anna. Is it Nemo? <laughs> Please take care of my grandson. Yes, sir. And my daughter in law. Look after both of them for me. Oh? Take care of them. You yes. know, go. Okay, mama. No problem, mama. Um, Anna. Alex! He's crying already. I'll come to visit you in the city. Alex! Uh -huh. I remember what I said. My grandson and my daughter-in-law. You had me. Take care of them. No problem, Mama. Amalecha. <laughs> no. No, I'm going to eat your man. Oh. Bye, Mama.
Rebecca! Rebecca! Oh! Oh, Mama, that boy of Malicha. The least you would have done was just tell me you wanted to take some rice from the pot, which you know I would have obliged you. After all, I'm the one that cooked it. You decided to take all the rice without leaving one single grain for me to eat. Hi! Oh! 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 Mama, she means this happened in my absence. Oh, Susan died at childbirth. My God. Mama, I hope the child is alive. <laughs> yes. She survived. Good. By the way, how was her journey? Mama, thank God. It was okay. Fine. I hope that woman didn't give you a tough time. You mean Ogadema? Yes, Ogadema. Oh, mama, mommy, you're so funny. How can Ogadema give me a tough time? I'm the one giving her a hell of a time in the house, mommy. <laughs> you should trust your daughter. I'm a true daughter of my mother. <laughs> I trust you, my daughter. My daughter? You've done so well. Hmm? You are indeed a true daughter of your mother. Hey, hey, mom. I'm so glad, mom. Yes. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm so happy. I can't believe this. You don't mean it, you got the contract. Oh, for real, my dear. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, Steve and Hannett Company, that company, STC, my God. Those guys, you know, they were hottest uh, rivals. Hottest and dangerous. Oh. But despite everything they did, they employed every tactic in the book. Hmm? There's nothing they didn't do. They lobbied. You don't they don't say. They skinned. They brought all their technical partners. I don't even want to talk about other things that they did. You know what I believe? Once God says something is yours, it's you. It's yours. Exactly, my Nobody husband. can change it. This one is ours. Oh, congrats. <laughs> Let's drink to the chair. It's a long life. And More contract. Amen. And, and prosperity. Amen. I think we should just travel once and for once in a while. Let's celebrate there. You know, we're supposed to go on vacation there. You're right. But not exactly, my dear. Why? Have you forgotten that Mama is coming next week for her routine medical checkup? Mama? Eh, but it won't be good for us to leave her at home alone. There's nobody in the house to stay with her. Uh, so because of Mama, I won't go to Hawaii. Why don't you just look for the best hospital in the, in the village and let Mama go there for a checkup? Sweetheart, mm -hmm. you and I know that those hospitals in the village mm -hmm. are not well equipped. It's my mother we are talking about here. Yeah? I don't want to take any chances. More to mm, come. More to come. Come back once again. <laughs> mm. My love. We'll do the Hawaii next time. Okay? Because of Mama. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. That's my baby. Mm. I want to ask you, have you heard from your son? Yes, I've heard from him. He said I should come back to the city again. That my grandson has been crying and acting after me. You know, Chesigili, what did you tell him? About what? Aren't you going down? Is you open? The truth is that you don't understand. And I am very, very confused about this whole thing. Kongini. I don't want to die in the hands of that wicked girl that calls herself my daughter in law. If only we had a chin. If only that he has listened to me. I won't be going through all these things now. Nothing is happening. This is just a phase. 
that will soon pass. You know? Do you know that her mother is as wicked as the girl? And what if both of them plans to kill me? God forbid bad thing. They cannot try it. God is your protector. Besides, you cannot run away from your son's house. Huh? I will think about it. Think. I will think about it. You no will go. My dear, I've not seen you for a while and I thought maybe you have a problem with your mother in law in the village. Huh? Maybe she has sent you packing. Tessie, you're so funny. How can she send me packing? Oh, God. Or I'll send her packing. <laughs> that woman is so annoying. She's always in my face. Like, <laughs> um, so you have to be very, very careful. You know? I can never be too sure these days. See, Tessie, what baffles me most is the fact that the more and I will treat this woman, the more calm she is. She enjoys it calmly. I'm so fed up, you know. And every time she wants to keep coming back to the house, this minute she say she's coming for checkup, she's coming to see Alex. Sometimes she even brings food stuff like we're hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> My dear, please, like I said, you have to be very, very careful. One day she might come up with poison and poison your food and everybody will die. No. She go poison herself, not me or my or my son or my husband. <laughs> I know what you can do, but honestly, in this game, if you want to win it, you have to step up your game. Okay? Frustrate her. Make life unbearable for her. Make her look miserable in the house so that she can live and you have your peace. Darling, I get so fed up, you know. I keep maltreating her. Sometimes I hit herself. Uh, what I want to do again, kill her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my dear. And you say you don't care for anything. I'm fine, I'm not hungry. Okay, sorry. I decided that I'll be traveling to the city to see my grandson. <laughs> and my son said he would be sending his driver to come and bring me so that I will not suffer on the road. <laughs> That's very good. Well, this well. I want to thank you for all your efforts, for all your prayers, and your advices to me. My God will really reward you. No. Stop frightening me. Have you not always been very good to me, too? That you will not understand. You are truly a friend in need. And you are a friend indeed. <laughs> this evening? Mm, mm. I want to rush to Mama Kole's house. You know I will be traveling tomorrow. Mm. So I want to buy uh, some dry fish for my daughter-in-law. <laughs> Your daughter-in-law? That's very good. Hmm? What will I do at that? She's my daughter. <laughs> yes, I forget. We are contributing money for our community school projects. Mm. Mm. I would have paid for you because I haven't enough money. Please. Forgive me if I do inform you before you now. See, I didn't even know why it escaped my mind. I heard mm -hmm. about it in the city when I traveled. Mm -hmm. I will rush to see Mama and call her. Mm -hmm. When I come back in the evening, I will come to see you. I will bring my own money and my daughter-in-law's own to you. Eh? 
Your daughter in law, you pay for her. Oh, my dear, she's my daughter in law. Ah, you are a good woman. <laughs> with a good heart. Eh? She's my daughter. Eh? I don't have any problem with her, you know, It's good. Okay, let me just wash. I'm quite not. I will follow you. Because you want to go with Let's go and buy the fish now. now. Let's go, yeah. Now let's go. Yeah. What are you hoping? Yeah. Waiting for mama. You're waiting for mama. Yeah. Is mama coming with us? Yes, she is. I need to talk to you. Come. Ah. What's all that about? Can't we have a moment of privacy? Huh? What do you mean? Like you don't understand what I mean. This outing is supposed to be for me, you, and our darling son Alex, not with a third party. Hey, that third party you are talking about is my mother. So. Huh? Okay. It's either she stays, I go, or I stay, she goes. I can't imagine going with a third party, an old woman. So be it. Oh. You stay in the house if you want. Oh. Oh? Because she's your mother? Oh, yes, she's my mother. And I'm your wife. Oh, then that's why you should give her the respect she deserves. She's your mother in law, for goodness sake. Okay. You want me to stay? You stay in the house cool. if you want to. I'll stay. Would you? All right. Mama. I'm sorry for taking too much of your time. I don't think I'll be paying with you. Why, Mama? Hey, I suddenly develop a stomach. I don't know, maybe it's what I eat. You want me to call the doctor? Of course not, of course not. No, let me call the doctor. No, no, no. She'll be Maybe fine. some other time I'll go with you people. Just oh. needs to oh. rest. That's all, Mama. Mama just needs to okay. rest. So oh, sorry, oh. Mama. Just go and rest, Mama. So, oh, sorry. Take your medication. It's stress, Mama. Rest well, <sighs> Donny, I love you. Ah, okay. You're happy now. That's what you wanted, okay? No, baby. Mama is not feeling too Oh, really? Well. So just get into the car. Let's go. That's what you want. Right. Alex, we're having it's fun today, up. son. <laughs> I heard all you complained about. Rebecca, my daughter, is something else. But I will caution her. My one problem with her is that she is stubborn. But not to worry. Huh? Uh, she's my daughter. I will talk to her and I'm sure she will listen to me. Okay, Papa. Uh, but Papa, really, if uh, I tell you that this situation is not bothering me, I must be a very big liar. I just don't know what to do. Eh? This was not what I bargained for. Do you know that even when the last time Mama came for routine medical checkup, I just said, since it's a Sunday, let's go out as a family. She blatantly refused. Incredible. Oh, if you see the heated argument we had that day, how? Huh? No, no. I'm tired of this, oh. My son. I want you to understand one thing right away. Women. Mm. Women. Very difficult set of people. You won't believe it. Her mother, Louisa, is as much difficult. Uh, at this age, it takes patience to put up with them. But uh, as I told you earlier, you have nothing to worry about. I will invite her over and I'll talk to her. And I promise you, things will improve. Oh, oh okay, Papa. Uh, I'm really glad that uh, you have decided to step into this situation. Uh, because it was really getting out of hand. <laughs> no problem. Right, you don't have to worry. Uh, you'll be on your way. Uh, yes, sir. No, Papa. Uh... <laughs> ah. Just take this. Oh, go to the Papa, manage this I can uh, 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 I'm not saying why. I'm not saying all the same, may the good Lord continue to bless. And Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Huh? And give you long life. 
Thank you. <laughs> Please, Papa, when Mama comes back, you have to greet her for me because uh, tell her I waited for the burger to come back from the market. Uh, you will eat that <laughs> when next you come. All right, sir. I'll be sure about okay. that. All right, Papa. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay. Hey, Maggie, but on a serious note, Becky, if you had done what I told you to do, I bet you with my life that, that by now that woman would have been in the village. That's what are you saying? I've done everything I can to get rid of that witch. But you know what? What pisses me off right now is the fact that my husband is actually dancing to every music that witch is playing. What? He's playing to her side. And that's quite horrible. Very annoying. I can't believe it. It's, it's irritating me. Tessie, why can't you be just and truthful in your advice? Huh? Becky, please, take it easy with your mother-in-law. Eh? She is old. She may not be doing things the way you would like it. She is not so strong. Try and understand this. Remember, all of us will get old someday. Old. And such a thing may befall on us. Use your lines. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. Vera, what was that for? A club, girl! Club! So let me tell you something. These days is not the day you will say this is right or this is wrong. Just do whatever that pleases you and get away with it. This is the time to be smart. The time to be bold. To face all challenges and girl. fight it. Girl, this is not the time to strong your eye, you know. Make your eye war war, not look at your face. Because if you look at your face eh, or you soften your face like this, people will trample on your right. Did you hear that? Yeah, right? Did I just hear you say right? Yes. That's not true. That old woman has a right. That is our son's house. In case you forgot something. Hello? And that is my house. My husband's house. My legal ground. According to the law, I'm married to my husband legally? Yes, and according to church things, religion. I'm married properly. My holy matrimonial house. Hello, that woman, that is not her place. She should go back to her village. You want to hear me? I'm gonna see that witch and a car. Oh, wah, na delija. Correct. <laughs> Becky. But Becky, but please. I told you. Cheers to the punishment. Mm -hmm. hey. If you had come a little earlier, you would have met your friend, uh, Rebecca. She just left a few minutes ago. Mama, don't worry. Eh? At least I'm not in a hurry. I will stay with you until Becky returns back. Oh. Oh. God will bless you, my daughter. Amen. You are so thoughtful. Thank you. Eh? Oh. Hey, my son left early in the morning to work. And my grandson, Alex, has gone to school. And your friend, Rebecca, has also gone out. This is the way your mother sits at home. Oh. Oh, look at the television, no. <laughs> but my eyes pays me. Mama, don't worry. At least I will get to spend more time with you today. <laughs> hey. Hi, mom. This is the first time I'm laughing out like this. I have forgotten what it means to laugh. <laughs> oh, Mama. Oh, mom. As you can see, I'm in my son's house. I'm okay. Eh? No. What is your name? Mama, my name is Vera. Louisa! Louisa! You see what you have caused? Every good mother should pray for her daughter to find peace and love in her matrimonial home. But it is not you. And you call yourself a mother. You encourage her to abuse, fight a poor woman. What have I done now? You don't know what you have done. What have I done? Just look at what you've done. Eh? Out of anger she has left this place. Is it good? No, suppose something happens to her on the way. Eh? See, Paddy Becker. 
you showing my daughter ways to stand her ground in her matrimonial home is a crime, then let me be guilty. It is a crime! And I say, you are guilty! And I don't want it in this house again. I don't want it in this house again. What is this nonsense for? I mean, what's the problem with you? Louisa! God! This woman, this woman, you can never change. You will never change. But you will not kill me in this house. How long has she been here? Mm, I feel like she, I think she, You could only two hours. Okay. Go back to your post. Thank you. Anna, welcome home. Shut up. Go back. You didn't meet me at home and you didn't bother to call. Welcome, Jay. You know, I wanted to call you to let you know that I'm here, but when I came in, I saw your mother in law. So I decided to stay back with her since she was alone and bored. Okay. I hope you guys had fun. Yes, Mom. Your friend here is such a wonderful person. Mm. We are getting along already. Mm. <laughs> Vera, I hope you'll be coming to visit me more often, eh? Sure, Mama. Eh? I will always create time for you. You know I don't have a mother in law. Eh? You are not part of me. Oh no. I'll be expecting more of you. Oh. You're welcome. Yes, listen. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. We are wearing it on, on Saturday for Mrs. Obi's child's education. Yeah. So I will take my leave now. Mama. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. All right, Mama. Bye bye. bye. All right, bye, darling. All right. We got your family. Bye, Jesse. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, old witch. How dare you? How dare you have someone in my home in my absence? But my daughter, I have once seen her in your company, and you told me that she's one of your best friends. So, what if she's my friend? around to not have a people in my home. What if she's a kidnapper or a thief? Huh? Is that why you open the door and have her in my absence? Hey, don't look at me when I'm talking to you. You look down, witch. Look at me very well. Next time you open the door for someone and have the person in my home, in my absence, I'm a girl.
Much welcome, my in law. No, oh, no. Hey, how is your husband, uh, Boniface? He's fine, he sends his regards. Yeah, hmm. you know, your husband was a very good friend of mine, late husband. Back in the days, <laughs> and you know that Udinta and Amato. Have uh, common boundaries. When Igwe Izobilo was the king of, uh, um, I don't, I don't. See you. Let's go over there. What a sweet smell. I hope this is not what Ogadema enjoys in this house. Mm. Mommy, you're so funny. Like you didn't see what I served her. I served her little rice with chicken head. Fall <laughs> <laughs> head. Good. That's I'm not stupid to serve her such a sumptuous meal like this. <laughs> you're such a nice girl, my daughter. Hmm? So good. Good. Ah, enjoy your meal. And do you want me to get you fruit juice, orange juice, or red wine? Mmm. Mm, fruit juice is okay. Then later on, you step down with red wine. And we can have some girly girly talk. <laughs> Adam, Adam, you're such a good cook still. Thank you. Come on. Mm. I'm going to teach you a lesson of your life. I'm the one teaching you. You, teach you don't me. know how to play the game. I was the one that taught your mother how to play the game. Grandma, just watch. The game is over. Just watch. Grandma, hold on. Pick two. Go for general Alex. market. General market again. Alex. And 
check up. I give up. You are the winner. You are the winner. Oh, Dama, oh. you see it. I do know you know how to play this game. So much like this. Can we go again? Are you ready to go again? Okay. Trust Alex, it's going to wear you out. <laughs> I am not complaining. Am I? My grandson here is such a nice boy. I'm enjoying every bit of this game. And he's so intelligent. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you, darling. Okay, let's do it. Let's I'm going to win all of you. Again. Thank you, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I think I want to join the game. Okay. You want to join? Yes. Okay. So let's shuffle the cards and... Alex, no cheating, no. No, no your mommy too is very good at no, that. No, my son, he can't cheat. I trust him. Okay, now let's pick. Okay. Who goes first? Okay, mommy. Adamu! Adamu! Ah. <laughs> oh. Good morning, ma. How are you? I'm fine. I hope you slept well. Yes, I am you, ma. I'm fine, my son. I'm fine. Madam, why is it that uh, the tap is not running inside the main house, inside the big house? Um, I've been tell Oga say our fuse will be one cut. In tell me say the election will come today. Yes, ma. No problem. It's okay, my dear. Please help me fetch uh, small water. Let me use inside. No wala, no wala, ma. Too fast. Don't let madam. Big madam. Yeah. Okay. the latest development in this house. Can you perceive the smell? Uh, the smell of your poo. Why will you make life uncomfortable for everybody? Why? Oh, why are you not considerate, woman? Why will you use the toilet and not deem me fit to flush it? And if I talk now, you will rush upstairs and report to your son. Huh? I'm sorry. I didn't know the, the system was faulty. So I decided to go and fetch water to flush it. As you can see, I'm almost on my way. Because I'm anyway, oh. Don't you don't offend. Don't, don't tell me not to be offended. Don't be offended my food. What will become of me if my friends walk into this living room now and perceive this odor? This foul odor! The smell of your poo, woman! Can you smell your shit? Eh? Dirty woman like you! And come, next time I talk to you, you should answer me! I'm sure you brought your son up properly. You imbibed curtsy manners into him. The curtsy, I want you to exhibit it now! Say okay! Okay, mom. Come. I remember Dolisa. Huh? I'm not your daughter. Okay. Come back here. Why will you carry bucket across the steel? Can't you pass the backyard? Hey! Go bring it up! And take it outside. Hey! You come, mom. Hey! I said don't want me again! I'm not your daughter, not Dolisa. Can you look at that? Smelly woman, as old as you are, and so your 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 your, your shit all this smell. You talk too much, woman. Too much apple. Go, go, go. That's why your shit is smelly. Ah! After they talk apple with okra. Becky, please, please stop being stubborn about what I'm telling you. You should treat your mother-in-law with love and respect. Eh? Take her as your own mother. I wish I still have a mother-in-law. Oh, well, just thank your God that she's dead. If she were to be alive, she for sure you shaggy. Yes. You don't know Ogadi. Ogadi is very wicked and dirty. She's a dirty old woman. She stinks. She's a stench. No, Tessie is misleading you, Tessie. Yes. Okay. How 
Are you sure that is the way she treats her mother-in-law? You don't know what you have until you lose it. Trust me. Madam Odiaso, hold your head. Mind your business. This is my home and my affairs. I'll treat them the way I want to deal with them. Okay, so mind your business. And can I ask you a question? Where were you when she told her son not to marry me back then just because of my past? A past I knew nothing about. That was not my fault. Where were you then? That woman is wicked and I'm going to take it up against her for saying that back then. She's in trouble. Every good mother will do the same thing. If you were in her shoes, you would do worse. Cool. Listen to me. You better take my advice before it is too late. That's it. Well, I think we have to go now. Or just do you want to sit down and discuss about your newfound friend? Oh, God. Oh, God. He's best friend. Let me rush and see my mother-in-law. They just called me now that she's sick. I hope it's not something serious. Please, Auntie, tell Grandma not to see Ko because she's going to leave and see her, her grandchildren get married. Amen to that, my darling. But let me tell you something. Mama is not going anywhere. Amen. Mama is not going anywhere. Uh -uh. God knows that she will live long for us. You know I don't play with my mother-in-law. She's more than God to me now. I am going to see her. And we pray that she will be alive to see all of you get married, including you. Amen. And please, if that my friend comes, don't tell her that I went to see my mother-in-law. Okay? Okay. I'll see her. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Vicky. Betsy, you going out? They just called me now that my attention is needed at my travel agent's office, so I'm rushing to see them now before you came in. But um, who was that you were telling me over the phone about Vera? Imagine. She was trying to run the affairs of my home for me. It's wrong for me to maltreat my mother-in-law and that you're the one teaching me, influencing me to treat her badly. Hey, imagine. Eh? Mm -hmm. And what did you tell her? Trust me, I told her to shut up and mind her business. That's how sorry. You know, you, you can't blame her now. She doesn't have a mother-in-law. We that have mother-in-laws, we know what we're going through. Oh, oh, don't mind her. She is jealous of us. You, you know, I'm about going out to see my travel agents. Hmm? Anita will attend to you and give you whatever you want. Eh? Anita, take care of her to bake you, okay? Okay. Give her everything she wants. Okay. And a bottle of chilled wine, okay? All right, dear. I'll see you later. Don't stay too long. Bye bye. Hey! Yes. Rebecca, please. I want okay. to tell you something, please. What is it? Rebecca, what? Rebecca, woman, please, I'm sorry. Take me to the salon where I can where they can wash my hair. Or even plant another one. Not since I came to this house, I've not changed the hairstyle. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. Oh, Gadi, <laughs> you don't kill me with laughter. Oh, you're trying to tell me that I should take you to the salon to make your hair. Rebecca Biko, if they don't, if they can't plant new one, I don't worry. Mm -hmm. I need to wash the hair. Don't, 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 don't scratch it. No, 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 no. Don't scratch it. I don't want lies all over the floor. Hmm? You know what? Let me just tell you the truth. Huh? You have no business at the salon. Yes! Leave your hair like this. Or, better still, okay, let me just put it to you this way. Your era is gone. Hmm. Yes! Your time is over. Time up. It's the Rebecca era. Huh? Check out what we wear. Check out my hair. Hmm? I'll advise you. I'll give you a candid advice. Go and bob your hair. Scrub your hair. Let us see your scalp. Let water get into your head and cool it down. You know, it's better. And also, it will save my husband's money. Woman, oh, oh sorry, Ogadi. I don't have time. I'm out of here, Ogadi. Darling. I have something important to discuss with you. Mm, anything? When last did you hear from Adolisa? Oh, you mean Adolisa, my sister? Yeah, is that not the only Adolisa you have? See, let me be truthful. I'm angry. I'm pissed right now. Yes! How can she sit in the US for four years, for the past four years, and not look back to take care of her mother? Doesn't she know she has a mother here to cater for? Why does uh, 
My mother stay in this house, bother you so much. Huh? Oh, daddy. No, you amaze me, Becky. No, come. No, 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 really, you amaze me. No, darling. No, take it easy. Mama stay here is not bothering me at all. You see, all I'm trying to say is that Mama gave birth to two of you, right? And I so much appreciate the way you cater for your mom. You know, you're so interested in her. I'm so proud of you. I believe Adolisa should do more than that. Because she's a woman, she should be more compassionate. Not just abandon the old woman here and stay in the US. Come, let me just tell you the truth. If she feels she can dump her responsibilities on my shoulders, hell no, to fear. Never, I will not take it. You know, okay, uh, I spoke with Adolisa last week. You know, she's heavily pregnant now, and uh, in her condition, she cannot come and take care of mama like that. Bucci, why are you talking like this? Haven't I been pregnant before? Huh? What does she want bump as human being? Talk to me now. Don't I have Alex? Did I do that when I was pregnant? Let me just tell you the truth. It'll be nice you sit her down and talk sense into her head. She has a mother here to take care of. Let her come home and take care of her mother. Okay? If my mom gets older, I sure will take good care of her. But listen, um, I think this discussion should end now before it turns to another thing. I want to sleep. No problem, Buchi. I'll do as you say. But let her come and take care of her mother. Mothers are precious. They are vehicles that we came into this, into this world through. So let her come and take care of her mother. Big deal. Incredible. So, in spite of all my warnings, Rebecca still remains adamant and stubborn. Ah, Papa, even now it's becoming worse. Eh? The other day, she even tried to chase my mother away from the house. Good God. No, Papa, someone, I don't know what to do. You have to take it easy. Huh? Marriage is all about patience. That's what my father told me. It is not a bed of roses. Sometimes it is sweet. At other times, bitter, very bitter. So, you have to be patient. Papa, this patience is running out of the door. Take it easy, my son. You must make patience your motto. It worked hard for me. And I'm certain it will also work out for you. Huh? You are a man. Like mother, like daughter. My husband's sister is so useless, nonchalant, irresponsible, just like a mother. I can't even stand her. Can you imagine she abandoned her mother here in Nigeria, left for the US for almost four years now, without looking back? That's people for you, my dear. They don't want you to bear their burden with them. Yes, and I've tried. I've been the one bearing this burden. And I'm tired of bearing the burden. Oh. Because this woman is so useless. I can't take it anymore. I've got my own mother, and she doesn't stress me. I don't want it. And, and this woman is so dirty. Imagine she will pull in the toilet. She will flush. The whole place will be smelling. Becky. Becky. For crying out loud, this old woman is weak and not so strong. Can you just be understanding for once? Where? Yeah. I've told you to stop meddling my affairs. Mind your business. This is family business, not public. Please, my dear, hurry up so that you... Come back here! Don't worry. Eh? I'm Witch! Old wicked woman! Come listen to me! See, I've tried. I've tried! You are a witch! Oh, now I see why your daughter abandoned you here. Oh, you think I... Mwah! Rebecca will take up the responsibilities. It's a lie. No way. Woman, I've tried. I've taken all your excesses, woman. I have done my best. I've tried to condone you, woman. I've tried my best to stand your rubbish. It's the same you that will go and report me to my husband. You will shit and poo in the whole house. The whole house will be oozing, smelly. Woman, I have tried. Now I'm done with you. Yes, your presence in this house is no more needed. You, you're a curse to this family. Woman, you're a curse to us. We don't want you in this house. Now, it's either you leave and go back to the village or your daughter comes to pick you here. Because for more, Rebecca, I have tried. I rest my case. I've had it up to here. You have to leave. Anybody that says I've not tried, 
She's the person come and pick you now. This old haggard witch. I let her pull her shit in the house so the place will be smelling a rosy lala. Yes! It's high time you leave this place. I will show you! Baby! Would you, would you? Look at her. Old haggard witch. I'm old. My heart is not feeling me. Praise God. Hmm. I called you here this night for a reason, Onyebuchi. Okay. I want you to do me a favor. <laughs> I want you to call your sister Adolisa and tell her to come immediately and take me with her. Uh, Adolisa? Adolisa. Have I not been providing for you, Mama? Are you no longer comfortable in my house? Eh, Mama? Tell me, is there any way I have failed in my duties? Oh, yeah, but you have been providing everything. You have not failed me. So why do you want to leave me and go to the US? At this my age, you know, but you, All I need is rest. And I want peace. Become one. Kindly call my daughter Adolisa and tell her to come immediately and take me with her. Oh, if you want me to be alive, oh, my Biko. I'm a local town. Mm. 
succeeded at last eh? Rebecca so now you are very very happy I don't know what my mother has done to you that you detest her so much now you are very happy you can have the whole house to yourself baby huh? I, I don't understand what oh you're no you can't understand stop pretending darling darling what are you saying God. Uh, my love oh, please baby excuse me the love of my life excuse me what is it? Baby, Have the whole house to yourself. Baby, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm pretending. I'm not pretending. I can't understand, baby. My king. My, excuse me. My sugar. I'll leave this bed for you. Yes. I do this, sir. I don't listen, Mom. Please, I can't continue staying here. Rebecca is not giving me any breathing space. And I understand. Yes, yes. See, I better bear the cold weather in USA than bear Rebecca's wickedness to me. She will kill me before you come back. Eh? Okay. Hello, go. Please come back quick and take me with you. Oh, what? What? Okay. Mm. Yes. Okay. How are you? How are my grandchildren? I hope they are fine. Okay. Please hurry, oh. So that we meet your mother life, you know? Bring my children for me, you know? Bye bye. Say bye to grandma. Alex, don't worry, grandma will be fine, okay? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> so your flight is this evening now? Yeah, it's yeah? this evening. Okay, that's good. You guys will have to hurry up so you don't get me to the airport. Yeah. Let me help grandma into the car. Mm -hmm. Grandma, sorry. Let me help you. Ah, sorry, ma. Sorry. Sorry, too. Ah, sorry, grandma. Gone mad like your mother that is living. Oh! Wow, this is the victory. Victory at last. I fought the battle and I won the battle. She's gone. I'm so happy. And this is for good readiness to bad rubbish. Good readers to bad She's rubbish. She's gone. Bad rubbish. Good readers to bad rubbish. She's, She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Gone for good. Wow. <laughs> On this occasion, I think it's only right for me as the father of the house to say one or two things, at least a word of prayer, to the newlyweds. And so you people are going to join me, okay? As we celebrate, 
to the union of our dear children and to the success of their wedding ceremony. We want to pray to God that they be blessed with the fruit of the womb, both in male and female children, <laughs> and that they will be blessed with children that are healthy, Amen. children that will be prosperous, Amen. children that are intelligent, Amen. and children that will give joy to their lives, even as they have given joy to our lives. <laughs> So you are going to rise with toast to their success because my son, Dr. Alexandra, is capable. Let's celebrate to this. We <laughs> got to joy, to prosperity. Uh, I'm very sure. Congratulations. God bless you, no? More money for my son and twin. Twin. Two. Nine months. Two. Thank you. I'm so proud of both of you, Alex. Thank you for my my friend's daughter, Joy. I'm proud of you. And I pray the Almighty God abides with both of you. Sure. My advice to you is don't just be a couple, be friends. Love each other unconditionally and always protect each other's interests. Fight for each other no matter what. Your love she supersedes anything. Anything she wants, do it for her. She's your wife. She should come first. Anything he wants, do it for him. He's your husband. He should come first. And God will be with you. Amen. Ah, thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Joy is a fine girl. Beautiful Joy. Cheers, my dear. <laughs> you two are really blessed. I am so happy for both of you. <laughs> we all are, my dear. We all are. You see, it's unbelievable. If one had told me that Joy and Alex would end up man and wife. I wouldn't have believed it. But I suspect you people secretly added some matchmaking flavor. Ah, oh, or didn't you? Ah. Of course not. <laughs> Please. <Yeah. laughs> it didn't. There was this day, was it not, I think two weeks back or three weeks, I walked into the house. Then Alex walked up to me and he said, Mommy, what do you think about Joy? <laughs> I smiled. <laughs> I sat back, then I started, you know, putting two and two together. And I arrived at the fact that we like each other. <laughs> wow. mm. I am so happy. Well, we need to start, start talking about the Ashibi now. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Because I discovered that uh, he's short of properly dry clean clothes, so I gave them at home to dry clean and I took them to him. I didn't know you were back. How I need them. And how was your day? Fine, fine. Anyway, it's all right. You need to give them some space. Those people are newly wet. They deserve some privacy. You know? Give them space. Yes. My son that I carried for nine months. Privacy is 
meant for strangers. I'm not a stranger. I have to watch over my son. Be sure he's fine. He ate him well. His clothes are properly dragged. In. You know, I'm just overseeing things. You know, I'm not a stranger. Sit down. Have you eaten? I've not eaten anything. I was waiting for you to come. Sorry. But don't, don't say I didn't tell you. Eh? Don't start what you can't finish. Fine. Yeah, are up this early. Yes. Why? Yeah, I'm actually going to the hospital. I have a patient and urgent need attention. Okay. Yes. They're all looking for me. Ah, <laughs> my darling son. So, what is your shirt is not properly ironed? Shirt is not rough. Hmm? You just go inside. I'll see you when I return. Okay. I'll prepare lunch for you. No problem. Take care, Mister. Huh? Yes. Take care. All right. prepare breakfast for him but he said he has a patient that needs urgent attention and then he just rushed off shut up it's because you're lazy did you wake up early to cook for your husband huh joy don't you know that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach huh i wonder where you're from girls of nowadays i'm sorry mama better be sorry for yourself look at me let this be the last time you will starve my son. Alex is my only son and I love him so much. And he works so hard. I think all you owe him is to be a good wife and prepare good food and place it on the table for him. Okay? Now what do you have in your kitchen? I need to prepare lunch for my son. Follow me. You need to go to the market for me. I need to cook for my son. I'm carrying this bag. Do you have fresh liquid fish in the kitchen? This one is very smart. Hey, hey boy, it's not fair. Huh? It's not fair now. If you smell, now I grew. I know, but he's smart. He's going again. He's going again. Oh, 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 oh. Look <laughs> at <laughs> you, eh? <laughs> Joy. <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs>
Mama, I'm coming. finished eating and I just wanted to finish watching the uh, TV program before coming to clear the kitchen. This is the least of what I expected from you, Joy. I never knew you were this dirty and lazy. Huh? Oh, show you is so comfortable to sit down and watch TV while your kitchen is this dirty and filthy? Ew! Mama, I'm sorry. Better be sorry. Honestly, I don't like the way she shouts at me. She doesn't even allow me to explain anything to her. Anytime she's pissed, she just shouts and shouts and it's affecting me. I don't like it. I, I've tried so hard to please her but anything I do she complains and then she abuses me at will. I don't think it's fair to me at all. Uh -huh. Honey, I, I would say I'm very sorry. Alright? I know my mom can be bossy at times, but please bear with her. Alright? Okay. I will make sure I talk to her. Please. Don't. Don't talk to her. Don't even tell her that I told you because if she knows, she will just kill me. Besides, you're never here. I mean, I'm the one that will be here with her, not you. Please, I will manage. I've always been managing and I'll manage. Don't worry. All right, then. Um, even when I don't talk to her, I will make sure everything is okay. All right? Huh? Smile for me, baby. Come on. Smile! Oh, I'm smiling! <laughs> yeah, that's what we <laughs> Thank you, Mama. So, how are the newlyweds? Alex and Joy? Yes. Mama, they are fine. You know, young, vibrant, happy couple. Yeah, they are so young, enjoying their youthful days, unlike me that have grown so old. And you, my mother, the yellow CC mommy, you are now older. <laughs> Yeah, fine, no. Mm. I hope Alex will not miss his shots. Oh, <laughs> Mama, not my Alex. Alex will not miss his shot. In no time, I'll carry my grandchild. And you will carry your great grandchild. Mm. I'll carry my great grandchild. Yes, Mama. I'm very happy. Mm. That is the prayer and wish of everybody to see their great grandchildren. Hmm. I'm happy. Hmm. You will not only see your great grandchildren, my darling mommy, you will see your great, 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 great grandchildren 
to the fifth generation by the grace of God. Amen. But by then, I doubt if I can be able to use my eyes. Even now, I can hardly walk around. My pains, legs, rheumatism and arthritis, where my bones down. When last did you see the doctor? I saw him last week. He ran several tests on me and prescribed so many drugs. But since then, this massive nothing is happening. Let's do the same thing. No results. Mama, I just need to It's old age. It's old age, Mama. You just need to rest. You don't need to bother yourself over anything. And Mama, stop thinking about your late husband. You need to stop it. You need to comfort yourself. I know you love Papa and I love my father too, but over five years Papa passed on. Mama, stop thinking, oh. I still need you around. Stop thinking. How I miss him. Your father was such a nice man. I miss him so much. Hey baby, what's up? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. How's your day going? Wow. Okay. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> just stop it, no problem. I just wanted to know how busy you are. Uh, okay, so can you spare any time for your wife? Okay, this afternoon. Okay, so will you have lunch with me? <laughs> yes, I want to have lunch with my husband. Is there anything wrong with it? Okay. No problem at all. I'll be waiting. I love you very, very much. Celebrating. Guess. Honey, you know I'm not good at guessing, so help me out. Come on, try. Just guess. Alright, okay. um. Hello, Junior. What? You're pregnant. <laughs> no, 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 no. How did you know? I mean, I just got the results from the doctor today. And it's like you're forgetting the fact that your husband here is a medical doctor. You know, as a doctor, I have my own tricks. Uh, anyway, anyway, I, I 
spoke with your gynecologist. He actually told me you're pregnant. <laughs> God, I, I will sue that doctor. <laughs> he just spoiled my surprise. Oh. Do you know the pains I went through just to announce this? <laughs> and you, you're so wicked. You couldn't even act surprised. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine, fine. I'll make it up to you. Oh, come on, we're celebrating. It's the good news, huh? Oh man, I'm so happy. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. <laughs> I don't know whether to dance or to shout. God, I thank you. Do you know that both of us are going to be grandparents soon? We thank God. This calls for celebration. <laughs> no, please. That your celebration can please wait until she gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. Then we can throw the party to the moon. I want a girl. Boy. She's going to give me uh, uh, a girl. Uh, uh, boy, first. Woman. <laughs> girl or boy? A child is a blessing still, a human. I don't know what you're arguing about. Please, I want to watch TV. <laughs> Darling, I want a girl. I need a boy. Joy. 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 Mm -hmm. ah! mm. You're still sleeping at this time of the day. This is a sign of laziness. This is unacceptable. Why? I'm sorry. I just feel so weak these days. I'm always tired. I just wanted to take a little nap. I didn't even know I slept. So, does that give you the right, because you are tired, not to wake up early, do the necessary house chores and cook for your husband? Girl, there's a thin line between pregnancy and laziness. You're crossing over to laziness. Now get up and work. Get up! Joe, you're a lazy girl. Joy is a lazy girl. Joy, get up! You're a lazy girl. Joy, you are a lazy girl. Stand up! As old as I am, I can still move around and work. Despite the pains at my back, I still move around and work. Joy! traveling to the U.S. for her delivery. Yes, um, I called a friend of mine over there. He's actually a doctor there. So all the preparations have uh, been made. But the pregnancy is barely a month. Why in a hurry to plan for delivery? There's still more time for me. Ah. My mommy said it's better for us to start planning now so that we won't be taken on our ways. That's why he's planning. Mm-hmm, Joy. <laughs> I think what should bother you now is how to control the amount of salt you pour in the food. I can barely get this food down my stomach. Um, um, well, to me, I, I feel this um, meal is very, very delicious. I mean, the rice, the stew, <laughs> everything is so on point. Mm. Yes, Mama. I wonder how you managed to eat this. Mama, <coughs> enjoy your meal. Huh? I'm fine. Mm. Okay. Chin, chin, chin. 
Mama, Alex asked me to join him for dinner. That's why I'm going. So we'll come back late. John, is that why you are dressed naked? I want to go naked because Alex called you for dinner. Huh? Alex bought this dress for me. And he specifically asked me to wear it for dinner today. So what? What if he's the one that bought the dress for you? I thought you were educated. Huh? How can you combine colors like this? Pink with pink meat green. Are you color blind? Mama, it's fine. This is what they call color riot. Mama, Mama. Didn't you learn about colors in school and how to combine colors? Mama, what is wrong with this? It's, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's a good match. Maybe you're not looking at it well. Eh? Mama, look. 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 See? All I can see is your Ike. Huh? Yes. I'm not blind. You keep it. That's all I can see. I think this is sexy. No, it's irritating. Can't I change that thought upstairs? Can't I change what you're wearing? But Mama, I like it. It's, it's fine. You like it? I see. Go and change it. Wear something else. And combine colors properly. They showcase your icky for the public. I wonder where my son got this one from. Go and dance for Timaya. And shake your uku for him. This let's get. Can your uku come for me? Eating all the food into a nyash. Darling, I cannot take this anymore. I can't take it anymore. Your mother does not accord me the respect that is due to me. She doesn't like anything I do. I'm telling you this thing because I cannot condone it anymore. I can't take it. Even my own mother cannot do that to me. Uh -uh. She's mean. It's okay. Please. Just take it easy. Only you know we are women now. Eh? It takes longer time before you can finally bond. Alright. It will be okay. Huh? Um, but I, I can assure you that my mother loves you so very much. Oh. I know that. She loves me. Yes. And then she finds it very difficult to show it. Please, don't even give me that. She doesn't love me and I don't care. She should just stay out of my way. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you. Okay. Nedimu chinchi. Chinchi. Nedimu chinchi. Chinchi. through a lot to raise him, to nurture him. Anything my son has today is mine. All his money is mine. So don't you ever look into my eyes. Don't you ever serve me one piece of meat. Did I come to your doorstep to beg for meat? Huh? Now take this rubbish away! <coughs> take it away! <coughs> Sorry. Joy is a useless girl. I repeat it again. Joy, you are a useless girl. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mama. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> I can see you're so busy this morning. Yes, ma'am. We're we'll having fried rice. <laughs> What's a surprise? Besides, Mama. Alex will be home any moment from now. So I want to prepare his favorite. You know what it is now. <laughs> Something for the baby, please. Baby, why should I eat? No, tell me. Why should I eat? What am I even eating for? When your mother is gradually turning me to a slave in this house. Are you blind? Can't you see what she's doing? She's always here. What's she always doing here? Doesn't she have a house? She should go to her house and take care of her husband and allow me to take care of mine. I also have a mother. But she doesn't come here the way your mother does. God, look at the way she orders me around as if I'm her slave. She doesn't even respect the fact that I'm pregnant. Joy, do this. Joy, do that. Joy, you're too lazy. Joy, you're this. Gosh, she's making me sick. I'm not making it all. All right, fine, fine. I've heard you. All right? I promise that I will do something about it. But please eat your food. Is she the only mother-in-law? Eh? Is she the only one that has a son? Enough is enough. God, I can no longer condone this. It has to stop. <laughs> if Rebecca wants hell, that is exactly what she will get.
is there. What did the doctor say? He said dad will be fine. But you see, he has a um, cardiac arrest. Hey! Hey! Yes. Um, I, I don't want you to put your face that way. You see, because he has a um, past risk stage, he'll be fine. Although his recovery will be slow, but he will definitely recover. Amen. Hmm? It's all right. I still believe that you were wrong. Yes. I mean, you went to her kitchen. As if that was not enough, you went to her port. Ah, ah, Mama, that's too much now. See, you need to stop interfering in the way we live our lives. Are you trying to tell me that I no longer have a right in my son's house? Mm. Then what are you saying? Eh? Mama, listen, you are getting everything wrong. But I will break it down for you. What I am trying to say is, you are overstepping your bounds. Eh? Mama, you that I know will not take this thing on. Because I can remember very well that you did not even allow Grandma to enter your kitchen. Shut up your mouth. You are telling me to shut up. How dare you talk to me in that manner? Huh? How dare you? Alex. Mama, not like I'm disrespecting you, but I feel the best way to solve this is for you to stop frequenting our home. Yes. Go to your husband, my father. Take care of him. Eh? Allow my wife to take care of me. I am old enough. I'm not the baby now. Alex. What? Eh? Go home. Take care of your, your, your husband. Alex. Ma, that, that, that's the truth. <laughs> my dear. I saw my ears today. <laughs> that little joy. Darling, she ordered me out of my son's house for no just cause. She walked me out. <laughs> she walked you out. Rebecca, Rebecca, how many times have I told you to allow these children to rest? Eh? You cannot steal your own sheep and steal their own sheep at the same time, Rebecca. Eh? Your case is just like the case of a football coach. <clears throat> trying to coach two opposing sides at the same time. Who will score who? Luchi, I wonder why you talk like this most times. Is it a crime for a mother to show concern for her son? I marvel at your judgment most times. You never judge rightly. And I know why. It's because you're a weakling. But you are a weak man. I am bold. I'm not like you. I'm a strong woman, Rebecca. The very strong, bold woman. I will not condone nonsense from that little rat. <laughs> Joy is too little. 
I will not allow her to destroy my son's life. And my darling Alex is so ignorant of all her antiques. Look at me, Bucci. That's your business. I will deal with joy. Okay. I've told you. Okay, Masia. We'll leave here. Honestly, I accept that what I did was wrong. It was wrong. I accept. But if you'll be through to yourself, you will understand that I have tried. I have tried. I have tried so hard to accommodate your mother. But she has refused to be accommodated. She, she wants to throw me overboard. She, she wants to make me go insane. She cannot be your mother and your wife at the same time. So she'll allow me to do my job. Well, um, baby, I I totally understand everything you're saying. Alright? Um, on behalf of my mother, I say I'm sorry. But I promise you I will talk to her again. Please. I will not, I will not tolerate this again. I will not tolerate it next time. I won't. If this is a plan to get me out of my husband's house, then it's working. If she wants me to leave, I will leave. Let her stay back and baby you as she wants. Listen, this what is it? it? Baby, calm down. I haven't gotten to that. Huh? Don't get agitated over this. Please. Jesus. Remember your condition. Alright, fine. I promise you I will talk to her again. Alright? Please. I have never seen such a Captain Carol's old woman. Then. That was what happened, you know, and before I knew it, your daughter literally chewed me out of my son's house, as in, out. I couldn't believe my eyes. Try, my friend, I am sorry. Eh? I am very, very sorry. I beg you, please, forgive her behavior. You know, I am just shocked at this talk now. I am not only begging you as a friend, but I'm also begging you as sisters. Hey! Be gone, forgive her, oh. Forgive her. You know Joy is a kid. I'm children of nowadays. They, they will not cease to amuse me. Little Joy. I showed love to her. I don't know what suddenly got into her, you know. And, and she, she got the courage to start insulting me. I'm sorry. I, I, Chai, sorry. Big sorry. Oh, Beatrice, sorry, no? Mama, let me explain. Just hear me out. Let me explain, Mama. Explain what? Enjoy. No, 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 no. Explain what? So, you want to tell me that you have now grown wings? You have grown wings to insult and talk to my friend anyhow that pleases you, right? Do you know what you have done? You have just tarnished my image. That is exactly what you did to my friend. So you're supporting your friend against your own flesh and blood. Have you for a moment paused to think that maybe something must have prompted my reaction? Okay. Mama, did your dear friend tell you? that she has virtually turned me into a slave in my own house. Hmm? Did she tell you that? Did your dear friend tell you that she insults me at will, at any given opportunity? If my food is not salty, my food is, it has too much pepper. Ah! Mom, if I talk, oh Joy, you talk too much. If I don't talk, oh Joy, you are very rude. Mom, she doesn't give us breathing space. No privacy! She is always here. Morning after night, she is here. She goes to my pot, she goes to my bedroom, she opens my, 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 my wardrobe. Ah! Mom! She called me dirty. She said I am dirty. Mama, I am pregnant. Pregnant women, don't they sleep? But if I sleep, ha! Ah, joy! You are lazy. If I eat, you eat too much. You squander my son's money. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Mama. Is she the only one that has a son? Is she the only one? She looks at me, if I dress, oh joy, you don't know how to dress. You have, uh -uh. Will I give myself for her? I have not started with you. I have not started at all, Mama. 
So if she's your friend, go and tell her. Tell her to stay in her husband's house. This one is my own. And I will treat this house and I will deal with her the way I want in my house. When she sees me in her house, let her do her worst. But for now, anytime I see her here, I will deal with her. Sit down, my daughter. Sit down. I'm sorry. Eh? Hey? So Mama. this is it. It is worse. Okay. Leave this matter. I know what to do. <laughs> you naughty. <laughs> so, Rebecca, this is it. So this is it, right? What are you talking about? Why are you filming? Please don't pretend. Don't just give me that crap. About what? So, you lied to me. You turned my daughter into a slave. So you want to kick her hand just the way you kick your mother-in-law? And you know my daughter. You know I like joy. Joy is my joy. And you know that. Let me tell you something. If I hear any form of harassment, you know me too well. I will crush you. I will eat you raw. I will do that. Stop harassing an innocent girl. Tessie. And it is, please, instead of you to sit back at your house and take care of your dying husband and you're here giving me crap. Disturbing the peace of an innocent girl. Stupid woman. You have to calm down. Why don't you just sit down and let's iron things out? Let me tell you something. You're just mistaken. A oh, please don't give me that. Let me tell you something. Stay away from Joy. You know me. I will give it to you one on one. I mean, personally. See? I mean, take care of your husband and you won't. Because they are giving me my daughter a hell of shit. Tessie is actually fuming. Because of her joy, right? No problem. I'm here. <laughs> Becky, please, please stop being stubborn about what I'm telling you. You should treat your mother-in-law with love and respect. Eh? Take her as your own mother. I wish I still have a mother-in-law. Huh? Just thank your God that she's dead. If she were to be alive, she for sure you shaggy. Yes. You don't know Ogadi. Ogadi is very wicked and dirty. She's a dirty old woman. She stinks. She's a stench. No, Tessie is misleading you. Tessie? Yes. Okay. How are you sure that is the way she treats her mother-in-law? You don't know what you have until you lose it. Trust me. Madam Odiazo. Holy word. Mind your business. This is my home and my affairs. I'll treat them the way I want to deal with them. Okay? So mind your business. And can I ask you a question? Where were you when she told her son not to marry me back then just because of my past? A past I knew nothing about. That was not my fault. Where were you then? That woman is wicked and I'm going to take it up against her. For saying that back then, she's in trouble. Every good mother would do the same thing. If you were in her shoes, you would do worse. Cool. Listen to me. You better take my advice before it is too late. That's it. Well, I think we have to go now. Or just do you want to sit down and discuss about your newfound friend? Ogadi. Ogadi's best friend. prefer the both of you come together as adults and sort this out eh? instead of raising fire and brimstone. Vera, you know me too well. In this relationship of ours, which has been for years, I've always been calm with this. Now that we are older, she wants to keep misbehaving. 
Maybe because she's older. But on this matter, kindly tell her that the battle line has been drawn. Yes. She called for it. And I'll give it to her double. I promise. Can you imagine the nonsense? Tessie running her mouth, threatening me. Becky, like I said, both of you come together as adults and sort this out. And like I also said before, the battle line has been drawn. Chest. Did you still feel the pain oh, on your chest? Yes, yeah, yeah. so but just see that it's getting better. It's not like before again. Oh, thank God. Thank you for those medications. Ah oh, no, no, it's definitely it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Um, you see that all you need now is to rest. Ah. Hmm? I spoke with your secretary Jane to cancel all your appointments for this month. Oh, you did? Yes. <laughs> uh, I hope your father will listen. <laughs> Alex, that's very thoughtful of you. Huh? I knew I could always count on you. Uh, anytime, Dad, anytime. Yes, um, Dad, I brought this from you for my wife. She actually prepared this specially for you. Little Joy? Yeah, she was supposed to come, but you know her conditions. She will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Alex. Yes, Mom. The food is for who? It's for Dad. My husband. Yes, from my wife. From who? From my wife, Joy. She must be very stupid. Is there anything wrong? She wants to take up my responsibilities. When she's here to perform ours. I'm sure the food is tasteless. Uh, Go mom. give it to the dogs in your house. Uh, mom, listen, listen. I will not sit here and watch you insult my wife in that manner. What, what, what's this? Alex. Mom. Oh, you want to be rude to me? I don't want to insult you. With all due respect, let this be the first and the last time you insult my wife. Like You're please. indeed not rude. Oh, so all the manners and etiquettes I gave you, nothing to show off. The stupid girl is rubbing off on you. Keep quiet, Rebecca. Eh? How many times will I tell you to let these children have peace? It's fine, it's fine. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Use your wala to sorry. kill me. Sorry, sorry. Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Fine. 
Zodo. Uh -huh. Yes, it's my father. Hey, please spare me all the sermon and tell me what is it. What? My father? Listen, are you sure you're talking to the right person? Baby, what is it? Is there a problem? He said... My father is dead. Is breakfast ready? If yes, please serve my food. I'm hungry. Did you open that your stinking mouth to ask me for breakfast? <laughs> you want to eat my food? I thought I don't know how to cook. Food here, food here, food here. Yet you don't walk. Ah! Other women, when they are getting old, it's either they become softer or kinder. But you, your long throat is getting longer. If you want to eat, go out and eat. Take it from there and go and look for what to do, my friend. Let me give you a friendly advice. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is to brush your rotten teeth, not to look for food. Do you hear me? Oh! Rebecca is a very smelly and old woman. no longer share my provisions with you. You are wicked. My husband bought these things for me because of my condition. So that I can eat and eat for his baby as well. 
you want to finish it for me? Do you want my baby to starve? Eh? Do you want to finish it? So that your grandson will starve? Eh? Old women like you should be interested in pounded yam, cassava, fufu, not complex and tea. Do you know, eh? As a young girl, we can ask and chow. Your love grew to be too much. Well, as a good woman, I have left water for you there. So if you still want to eat bread, eat it with the water. Hey! Mama. I no longer understand your wife Joy. She has totally changed towards me. She no longer gives me food. Even the beverages at home, she has kept them away. Imagine, she is seizing beverages. <laughs> uh, Mama, well, Mama, to me, I see all these things as normal women clash. I mean, what is beverages now? Eh? Okay, fine. I will talk to her. Better I'll, do. I will. Before you come back from work one day and find out that Joe, your wife, has killed you. Ah, God forbid. <laughs> that is impossible now. What is impossible? <laughs> Anything can happen with Joy. No, no, no. She has changed. No, no, no. Not in my wife, eh? <laughs> Mama, the Baba. <laughs> I thought you would join me. Are you leaving? Join me. Yes, ma'am. When I'm not happy with you. Ah, <laughs> Lord, I've heard you. Mm. Mama, the mama. So. Wait, wait, wait. Man, I knew it. I knew it. I knew she'll come and complain to you. Complain and don't worry for us all the mere. No, listen, listen, listen. Not like she was complaining. She was just trying to. You know, uh, listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Sorry I'm saying this so, but your mother has bad mind. She doesn't think good for other people. That is why she sees bad in everything, even when the thing is for her own good. <laughs> All I was thinking about was her welfare and her good health. Consider her age now, eh? You will see that the sugary things she's taking is not good for her health. The thing might even give her diabetes. <laughs> So I just felt that if you leave the provisions lying around, uh, the rate at which you'll be taking it will be too much. That was why I took everything away. Mm. Only for so is it a bad thing? Mm. Is it bad for a daughter-in-law to care for her mother-in-law? Honey, you have a point. But you see, my mother, I think she misunderstood you, you know? Baby, she is always misunderstanding everything. Leave her for me. I love that woman. I know. Like my own mother. And the same thing I did to her, I will do to my mother if she's taking sugary things too much and I feel it's not good. Listen, I am capable of taking care of that woman. Anything she wants. We do. On red plantain, no. Even if she wants me to pound it for her, I will. All I am after is for her to be okay. You see what I've been telling you? She collected the beverage from me. <sighs> Mama. Listen, what she just did is for your own good. You should know at your age you don't need all these sugary things now. Mm. You don't need them. At least I witnessed this woman. Haven't you heard of diabetes before? Hi. Diabetes. Very bad sickness. Very bad sickness. Mm. You don't like it. it. Hmm? Just stay away, stay away from all these things. Enjoy your tea like that. You won't like it. Come on, drink, drink. Mama.
was this latest development that you are locking the fridge? Oh? Hmm? Biawa ni Arabo Kolago. Rebecca, Arabo Kolago. Don't spoil my fridge for me. Do you hear? Don't spoil my fridge. But my son bought this fridge with his hard earned money. Can't I drink water in my son's house again? What did you say? Rebecca, did you contribute anything when we were buying this fridge? In fact, do you even know how we bought this fridge? All you know is, it is my son that did this. It is my son that did that. Let me tell you something. My husband and I bought this fridge and I have decided to start locking it. Do you hear me? So if you want to drink water, go to the sink. Collect water from there. It is the kind of water that fits you. If you don't like it, go to your house! Go to your house, my friend! Ah! What are you even doing here? What are you doing here? So, that meeting of witches and wizards that you're coming back from, they didn't serve you blood there. That is why you want to drink my water. Who are you people in here working for? I'm a blatant liar. My eyes have seen shaking in the hands of joy, my daughter in law. She treats me anyhow, insults me, maltreats me. And the bitter part of it is that my son is blind towards all this. Like, he's not seeing the maltreatment. My friend, I don't understand what is happening. I can't even explain. Rebecca, you know what it is. Eh? If you can take a minute and travel back the memory lane and remember how you maltreated Ogadi, your mother-in-law, and how I begged you, I begged you to be lenient with her. But you refuse to listen. Hmm. All I can say is to take things easy. Joy is just a child. And besides, she's pregnant. Eh? So take things easy with her. That is all I can say. Does that give her the ticket? Does pregnancy give her the ticket? maltreat me. Haven't you been pregnant before? Haven't I been pregnant before? <sighs> but I told you. There's a restaurant there. Buy me fried rice and chicken. Fried rice and chicken. Oh? Okay. Thank you. Julius, if you step out of that gate, <laughs> consider yourself fired. Madam, no offense, I'm not trying. I'm not the command again. Go to your duty post. Joy, what is the meaning of this? Exactly what you're seeing. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Rebecca. In our way, Dala, what is your problem? Don't you know that my husband will soon come back? Are you blind? Or do you expect me to go and open the gate for him when he comes back? Eh? Hey, Mbanon. I will not do it. 
Especially when I know that the gate man I paid went on an errand for a frivolous, lousy old witch. That is what you are. And now I can go. If I see you near my kitchen, I will cut off those two left legs of yours. Uh -uh. Go and fast. Go and do fasting so that at least when you die, you will go to hell. What am I even saying? Your sins are too much. Even if you fast for 100 years, you are going to hell. I want to eat fried rice and chicken. Where did you learn that? Film or what? The, the, the human parts you people eat in that your witches and wizard meeting is not enough. You want to add chicken from truth. I hope Rebecca is not bothering you anymore, Mom. Nebe, bother me. Hey, hey, hey. Mama, but she can't try it. I will not allow her to come into my husband's house and override me. Or not possible. Mm -hmm. In fact, I am the one bothering her right now. <laughs> hey, hey. I am teaching her the lesson of her life. But Mama, ah, I still cannot believe this is the same woman that used to come and visit us when I was little. My dear, I thought she was a good woman. Hey, you can't know a real person until you stay with that person. Until you live with the person. Mama, you see that woman? She is wicked. A full jolly angel. She is heartless. Hey! A full bemo. I know. I knew all this while. I knew. Because you need to see how she treated her mother in law. She maltreated her mother in law. She so much treated that woman like. Despite all the good advices I gave to her, it's like she enjoys being wicked. That is what I find out. Hmm. Mama? If she is wicked, for her pocket, oh, oh. she should just hold it there. Because me, I am out for her. She should not try any nonsense with me. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey. Because I am out for her. Severely not to wash your clothes in that corridor. I mean, we have where we normally wash our clothes, and you know it. Alex, are you taking side with your wife? I hope she told you that she threw away my clothes, and you're still supporting her. Why won't I support her? I mean, why won't I support her when you have refused to stop washing your clothes in that corridor? Okay, Mama, can't you wash your bedroom? No, tell me. 
See, Mama, please, I don't want trouble. I don't want you to come here and give my wife trouble. Not now, not now that she's expecting a baby. Mm -mm, I won't take it. Alex. Ma? I'm your mother. I brought you up properly. I don't expect you to talk to me like I'm your house help. You should talk to me with respect. Yes. Respect me as your mother. Fine. Mama, I respect you. But you must learn to live in peace with my wife in this house. Please, I don't, I don't want trouble. She's expecting the baby. Eh? Just, just, just wash your clothes in the bedroom and all this will stop. Uh, meanwhile, I, I have to go up. I am very tired right now. Right? But please, just try and wash your clothes there. Let's, let's talk all these things. Hi, This little witch has taken over my soul. Okay. Mama. Mama, good morning. Oh, yes, good morning, so. Yes, I'm, I'm on my way to the clinic. Yes, I need to go and um, attend to those kids. You know how it is when you're treating kids. <laughs> uh, but Mama, this one you are lying down. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just that I didn't sleep well last night. That means you are still thinking about your late husband. Eh? Mama, I have told you to stop thinking about it. If it has already happened, it has happened. There is nothing you do about it. What do you need to do now? Mama, what is this? What? A child? Jesus! Alex! What? What? Hey! What is it? Hey! Who put this in my room? Jesus Christ of Nazareth! Vera! Vera, can you imagine? Mm. My son. Sending me out of his house. But I saw that I cried in my room for nine months. Mm. <laughs> Accusing me of having charms. Charming him and his wife. What charms? God forbid. I accept I have my shortcomings. Mm. But charms is not one of them. No. I wasn't brought up that way. And what will I get in killing my son and his wife? Oh, they now sent me out. This is unbearable mm. for me. Look at me now. I'm lonely, I'm not here. Hey! <laughs> Just take this, Jesus. Take it, Jesus. Stop crying. That's what's here. It will be sorted out. Hey! Since you don't tell me that. Remember. I was there all along when you encouraged Peggy to maltreat her, her mother-in-law. You deceived us to do so. So you are partly to be blamed. Please, Vera. I beg you with the name of God. Don't even go there. Don't. What are you trying to say? Eh? Is Rebecca not old enough? She is a matured and old enough academically. Eh? So, she should bear the consequences of her actions. Abego! Bikopa! So, let me ask you something. You mean to tell me that if I ask her to kill herself, she will just do that? Eh? Hm. You see, let me tell you something. In life, everybody is on his or her own. And learn long to lean in another person's shoulder. No matter who that person is. And you're here telling me that I'm misleading her. I beg. Who do man like that? Ha! Leading her. Rebecca. Rebecca has made a terrible mistake. Have you called your son in this your condition? Call Alex. I will never call Alex. 
my son that embarrassed me. You know? I'd rather stay here like this. Go for that God, Alex. Go for bed. Do you want to die? Eh? Death. Well, if that is God's wish for me, let thy will be done. I can never go to Alex. Okay. I will go and see Alex immediately I leave this place. Eh? Just try and eat the rice. You will get better as soon as there is no cause for alarm. Thank you very much, Vera. The good Lord will bless you. Amen. Mm. Amen. You are indeed a good friend. How I regret not listening to your advice. Not taking your advice. Maybe if I had, things wouldn't have been this bad. <laughs> Don't regret it. <laughs> It's okay. Stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. Like I said, you will get better soon. I will go and see Alex. Eh? It's okay. Don't cry. Vera came to see me in the office today. Oh. Yes, she said uh, my mother is very, very sick. And she pleaded with me to go look after her. Wow. Yeah. Too bad though. Yeah, too bad. Mm -hmm. But honey, I want to ask you for a few. Mm. Anything for you, darling. Alright. Um, I. I want to bring my mother back to this house. Hmm? Yeah. Um, Bow. Yes, sir. That way, both of us can take care of her. I mean, I will give her the medical attention that she needs, please. Which medical attention? You're a pediatrician? Eh? So, what can you do for her? Why do you want to bring her here? Eh? You just want to stress me for nothing, no? You just want to stress me. Uh uh. Honey, you and I know I can take care of my mom. I beg you, please. Just try and understand. Take her anywhere else now. Why must he be here? Ha! Hmm? Please. Hmm. Hmm? Please. Okay, okay, fine. As long as she stays out of my way. Because I don't want to clash with her again. Uh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> please, 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 please. No more chance. No more chance, Biko. Because I don't want anything to happen to you, me, or the baby. Ah, oh, no. Nothing will happen to us, alright? Thank you so much for your understanding. Thank you for your understanding. Because she likes chance too much. No, no, no. Take her to any I'm sure it's not happening, alright? Oh. oh, Jesus. Joy. Joy. Please, can you help go to my room to get my medications? Joy. Black, 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 stop making noise. Ah, ah, what is it? Eh? May I imagine you have squeezed that mouth they are using to call you my name? Get a dress for you as what? As your mate? Eh? Stop making noise, Biko! Uh-uh! And stop shaking there before you spoil my chair for me. Jehovah! Hey! <laughs> if you make too much noise now, eh? I will kick you off self! There's a lie down. What is it? Uh-uh! I want to Eh? Did I send sickness to you? 
Maybe it is those people that you have used your witchcraft to kill that are now looking for their pound of flesh. If you know you want to die, don't die in my house, oh, because I, I don't have money for burial. Shoot. Please, the code is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mom, all you need now is to rest. Alright? Please, just relax. I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm? It's okay, my dear. Hmm? Just take it easy. You will soon be fine. Look at me. A whole me, Rebecca. Rebecca, if only you have listened to me, you won't be here regret stricken. But it's okay. You will soon be okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me get you water. Yeah, Rebecca. Take your food. Hey, now look, Rebecca. Hey, chum, chum, chum. Chumuke. Was I blind when I put this fish for you? That is your food. Hmm? When you finish eating it and you want to drink water, you enter your toilet. Go inside your toilet. Go to the sink and put your mouth under the tap there and drink water from it because I don't want you to use this your stinking mouth to soil all my cups. Buffet mad oil. Nonsense. Eh, eh, yeah. What is that? You don't want the food? No, you don't want the food. Let me take it. You want? Missoule. Enough, Mama. I have had enough. I need to go mental. But let this be the first and the last time you walk into this place to say such nonsense. Ah, ah, how dare you, Mama? How dare you? How dare you tell me to control my husband? Are you mad? Eh? Enough with that, Mama. In fact, see you. Look. Enough to go. See you. Look. Get out of this house and don't you ever return. Eh? Mama, be here, Mama. Look up. What is the meaning of this? To you and your, what give you this? Sit down! Mama will push you! Mama will come back there! Get more of my data from this place! And don't you ever return! Just be telling you something, Mama. My husband and I don't need a third party in this our marriage. Mama will work on our marriage. And it will work! And you will hear it. Now! Carry your two left legs out of my house now! Joey, is it me that you're, you're talking to me? Mama, you're not talking to me! Oh, Mama, you think I'm joking? Hey, Kapu! Oh, who can go up to us here? Thank you. 
Potar aku kok gesek si acak Yes, we take Mama to a specialist hospital because her condition is not improving at all. Huh? Even the drugs I prescribed for her is not even working. I noticed, Steph. She's getting weaker by the day. I think it's a good idea. Well, I have to do something about it. I'm about to tell you will not be a shock to you. What, what is it? Her condition is critical. She suffered partial stroke, and as a result of that, her left hand was paralyzed, and it also affected her right leg. She needs an expert neurologist if she must survive. Take heart, everything is under control. Sorry, mom. I'm sorry. Joy and Vera. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I'll call them at once. All right. Dali son to call both of you. My dear friend, Vera. Sorry, it's okay. Take it easy, take it easy. I'm so sorry not to have listened to your advice. I regret my treating Okadimna. You know, I regret listening to Tessie's advice. She misled me. She blinded me with all her advice. I 
thought I was being smart. I really abused Ogadema. I starved her. I even beat her. Hmm. It's only God that can forgive me. Joy, my darling daughter, I know. I'm so sorry. Please, forgive me, forgive me for trying to run your home for you, for all the hurtful words I said to you, I was afraid I was going to lose authority over my son, I'm sorry. Please forgive <laughs> me. Please take it easy. Stop it. Oh. It's okay. I have forgiven you. I have. But... I just cannot believe all the terrible things you said about my mother. My own mother. I never knew she was so heartless and wicked. <sighs> Please forgive me. I pray God Almighty forgives me. Because if he does, I know Agadim will be at peace with me. I pray God rest her soul in peace. Because she was a good woman to me. I have forgiven you. From the depth of my heart, I have. But I have a confession to make. Alex, Auntie Vera. Mama, Mama did not want any charm in the house. I did it. What? It was... It was just a ploy for me to get her out of the house because her problems were getting too much. Besides, it wasn't even a charm. It was just red cloths that I tied together to make it look like one. Mama, please, I am sorry. Please forgive me, I am so sorry. Joy. What goes around will surely come around. I was worse like this, you know. Mischievous, manipulated, lying. Wicked. I know I was being paid back in my own coin. I've learned my lesson. Karma. Karma. Huh. I hope others will learn their lessons too. That I love should learn to take care and love their mother-in-law and Rebecca and mother-in-law take it easy. Should Rebecca love. 
Take care of their daughter. Mama, 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 please wake up and treat you well. Mama, let go of my 